If you are like my wife and I, six months ago when we started our homesteading journey, the first thing um, that we thought we needed to do in order to be real homesteaders or, or to really uh, embark on this journey, the first thing that we thought we really needed to do was to get chickens. And so we did, and we got ducks. And after six months of having them, I feel like I can give some pretty good insights um, to the question of should you buy ducks or chickens? or both, or neither. If you're at a point right now where you just started homesteading or you're hoping to get into it or you're just looking to maybe buy a duck or chicken, this video is for you. If you're someone that has been doing this for a while, has been in the game for a long time, you can kind of already make your conclusions. You kind of already know what the pros and the cons are to having ducks and chickens. I'm gonna save you the time if you just want a quick answer Yes, I think you should get both ducks and chickens, but it might not be for the reasons that you might expect. Currently, my wife and I have 12 chickens and four ducks. Our ducks we have, let's see if I can get this right, one magpie duck, three Welsh harlequin. Yes, that's what they are called, Welsh harlequin. For our chickens, we have three silky chickens, three prairie blue bell egger chickens, and recently we added six more to the flock. Two Rockford, no, 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 Bard Plymouth Rock chickens, nailed it. Two Sussex chickens, and one Red Island Red. Yes, no, that didn't make sense. One red, Rhode Island red bird chicken. Yeah, clearly my wife is the expert on this. Um, so we have quite the variety. We have a pretty diverse flock um, and they each have their own personalities and kind of characteristics which make them really cool. Before I answer whether or not I think you should buy ducks and chickens, the first thing I would say is actually check and make sure that you can own ducks and chickens where you live. A lot of cities and counties, they won't even allow it. So make sure you check that before. Make sure you're legal. Don't do illegal activity, especially with chickens and ducks. Okay, cool. Now on to the rest of the video. Assuming your city allows you to have ducks or chickens, the first thing that I would do would be to look at your space. If you have a lot of space, you may be able to have some ducks. If you have a little space to work with, eh, I might actually lean towards the chicken side. Ducks are gonna be more messier. They're gonna be a little bit louder. And what I mean by that is they have more of a constant loudness to them, I would say. Chickens, they'll do the cock-a-doodle-doo in the morning if they're a rooster. And other than that, they're relatively quiet, I would say. But when you get a pack of ducks, a pack of ducks, a quack of ducks, <laughs> whatever a group of duck is called. If you get a group of ducks, they're gonna be a lot louder and noisier at a more constant rate than a group of chickens would. The one thing that I think everybody wants when they're starting to own ducks, owns chickens, is that they want the eggs. Quite honestly, chickens are gonna be more prolific egg layers. They lay more eggs, they're a little bit more palatable to a broader range of people. A duck egg is gonna be bigger and it's gonna have a little bit more fat content. And for some people, they don't like that. Some people are used to their basic chicken eggs that they get from the supermarket and they, for whatever reason, don't really wanna uh, venture outside of that or their stomach can't, whatever. They, they just get freaked out by the size of the duck eggs. However, because the duck eggs are a little bit higher fat content, they're a lot better to bake with. Pro tip from a non-professional. So that's one thing to consider. What kind of eggs do you wanna be eating? Do you wanna be eating your regular eggs? Do you wanna be eating a little bit more adventurous eggs with some duck eggs? Relax, guys. So earlier I said that ducks are 100 times more messier than chickens will be. If you have any sort of water source or any sort of water on your land, you can guarantee, guarantee without a doubt, that the ducks are gonna find a way to make it dirty. So if you are someone that doesn't want to have dirty water sources, doesn't want to have mud in your property, I might reconsider getting ducks. 
That's about as noisy as that one's gonna get. If you are someone though that wants maybe more, maybe more of a pet than a production animal or an animal that has a lot of utility. Excuse you. I'm trying to film a video, thank you. If you want uh, maybe a little bit more of a pet than a production animal, ducks are one of the best, if not the best, pet that you can get. They are one of the funniest and friendliest animals that you can get. If you raise them, especially from a duckling, they'll do um, something that's called, in the animal world, imprinting on you. So when we had our first two ducklings, um, they imprinted on Sarah and I. And so they thought, I'm assuming they thought that we were their parents, and they were so kind, so friendly, and they were so funny to be around. Um, this is not working. This should be quieter in here. So everything that I just said, to summarize, if you are looking for an animal that might be a little bit more of a companion too, definitely get a duck. Another thing to consider is the price that it costs to actually keep them and, and raise these animals. So we found that they're actually very similar cost-wise uh, because we're probably breaking some sort of law with this, but we actually feed them the same feed. Oops, sorry. Uh, they are free range, so they get the majority of their food in the fields during the day when they're out kind of foraging. But we do feed them the same feed, and we usually get about a 25 pound bag every two to three weeks or so. So we'll say like 50 bucks a month um, is what it costs to feed our 16, 16, there it is, birds in total. So that's it kind of on a surface level. Obviously it depends on the breeds, it depends on the number of birds you have, it depends on the space you have, um, and what you are allowed to do. Uh, but if I were to restart six months ago, I would honestly, we would do exactly what we did. We bought six chickens and two ducks, and that was a perfect entry level into this world um, of poultry and, and of homesteading. So if you are looking for a prolific egg layer, if you're looking for a super low maintenance animal, if you're looking for one that's relatively quiet and stays to itself, chickens are just that. If you're looking for an animal with a little bit more spunk, a little bit more personality, one that you don't mind if it is a little bit messier on your property, uh, and one that is just super adorable, ducks are your answer. So I hope that you have found this video helpful. I hope that you can take something from this in your decision making, whether or not you should get ducks or chickens or both. Our recommendation is to get both because they work together hand in hand perfectly and I don't think you'll be disappointed. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you want to stick around and check out some of our other videos, I'd greatly appreciate it. But until next time, peace.